Hi, I'm Miss Holland, and I'm here today to read to you "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," with, along with a little help from some of my favorite second graders here at Ventnor Elementary School. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hoped San Nicholas soon would be there. The children was nestled all snuggled in their beds quietly, vision of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief, and I and my cat, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out of the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. She tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they mate with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the piercing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. Bundle of toys he had slung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. The jewel mouth was drawn up like Bow, and a beard on his chin with his white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that he shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of the head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. Then turned with a jerk. And laying his fingers aside of his nose and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team and gave a whistle and away they all flew like a down of the this one. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I
Hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a very happy new year. We can't wait to see you soon.